Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lauren. And today we're going to do my January empties. I know this is really late, but you know, better late than never. Uh, anyways, also excuse the basically everything that's going on right now. Just got home from work. It's really early in the morning because I did have to pick up a night shift again. So it's like probably five in the morning right now, but you know, we're going to ignore that. Um, and I'm also wearing a sweatshirt, rocking my Kendry Collection sweatshirt. Um, that's my friend's boutique. It's always listed down below. Um, and we're just going to ignore the little, the dog hair on there. But anyways, so this is where I'm on my way to 5k again. And I'm doing this with a whole bunch of lovely ladies this year. And they're going to be listed down below. We are doing the hashtag pan our way to 5k. So if you are interested, definitely let us know and we can add you down below. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So I only have three makeup products this month, which is very rare for me. Um, I usually have a lot more than that, but you know, we're just going to roll with it because I did have a, like 18 or more empties for makeup, you know, last month. So anyways, we'll start off with um, the first one is this Too Faced Do You Setting Powder, and it was the one that, like, kind of smells like watermelon, and uh, she is gone. I mean, this was an okay powder. It went really fast because it only has 0.31 ounces in it, and which is 9 grams, and that's not a lot. <laughs> that's one of the least, you know, amount of products for my powders that I have in my collection. So I think this only took me like two, two and a half months or so. But anyways, I'm glad to get this one out of my collection. This was in a project um, as well. So I'll go ahead and list that up here. But anyways, nothing that I would repurchase. And then I finished another powder, but I have since put something in here. So this is the Sephora powder. Uh, and so I'll insert a picture up here of what it, the empty pan and everything, but it is their bright set pressed finishing powder. This was like a banana powder, but it was, it was way too dark for my like light complexion. So nothing that I would repurchase. I don't know how I ended up using this. I, I maybe I just had yellow eyes, like under eyes, but back in the day, like I used to rock this just like by itself under my eyes and this was like really dark yellow. So, uh, anyways, this is nothing that I would repurchase. This took me like freaking forever to go through because I basically had to either mix it or just use it to set my like eyelids after my primer. So, you know, I feel like this camera always washes me out and like my neck looks darker than my face. But in real life, I promise it's like the same color. Anyways, um, the last makeup product is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base uh, little primer. And I really liked this. It was basically like a glorified moisturizer. Uh, it was a thicker consistency. It had a little bit of like an orange smell to it, um, which I liked. Yeah, a little bit of like an orange smell. But... <sighs> I don't know if I'd run out to purchase this because I like a more of a hydrating glowy primer, but um, if I got another one of these, I would happily use it because it was, it was good. So, um, so that's it for makeup. It was a total of $63 and 26 cents. So probably my lowest makeup empties ever, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to have hopefully some more next month. Okay. As far as skincare, this is what kind of saved me for my empties because this is the 111 Skin Cryo ATP Sports Booster. And this right here is $135. $135. That is ridiculous. And you only get 0.68 fluid ounces. I don't know who would pay that. It, I didn't see anything. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. But I went through it. Nothing that I would purchase, obviously. Then this is the Caudalie Great Water. And there's that. I basically use this kind of like in my 
skincare routine is like my essence. And so when I got up in the morning, you know, I'd spray this and then put my hyaluronic acid on. So this isn't anything that I would repurchase. It kind of had a weird smell to it, but it had that smell from the get go. But yeah, nothing that I would repurchase, but I mean, it did hydrate and everything. So there's that. And then the last like two products are the same thing. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And I really like this. I mean, I just wish it gave more hydration. But I know this one's more for like normal oily skin, like combination kind of stuff. But I don't know. I feel like I really just like the consistency better than the other one, like the Lala Whipped Cream or something like that. <sighs> but I liked the hydration of that one better. This one I probably could get away with during the summer, but it was like not quite enough for my like winter, but I have extremely dry skin. So there's that, but it was, it was lovely to use. And I think I have used one of these packets before. I think you get like three, three uses or something out of that, or was it five? I don't remember, but yeah. And then this one is <laughs> this little thing right here is $20.40. So it's crazy. Okay, so skincare was a total of $182.45. That's what kind of saved me. Next is hair care, and we are flying through this. I only have 18 products, that's why. But I finished a lot of hair care this month. <sighs> the first one is this IGK Thirsty Girl Coconut Milk Anti Frizz Conditioner. And first, I love this packaging. Like, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I had a pump on it, so I just took the pump off because I like to reuse my pumps. But she's gone, and <laughs> not that you could see in it. It had a little bit of, a, like, coconut smell, which was fine. Um, I wouldn't say that, <laughs> I wouldn't say that this helped me with my, like, frizz or anything like that. It was a decent conditioner, nothing that I would repurchase. I got this, I think as like a BoxyCharm add-on, like one of their sales. So I got it for like half price because normally it is $68 for this liter. I mean, granted, it does take you a while to go through them, but $68. Yeah, I think I got it for like, it was either $28 or like $34, but you know, nothing that I would repurchase, but I mean, I. I would, I was totally a sucker for this packaging though. So I wish it worked because that was, the packaging was so cute. <laughs> Next is the Batiste dry shampoo. This is the coconut and exotic tropical one. I just wanted to see what this one was about because I did find it at TJ Maxx because I was like, oh, if I do like this one, then I can get those big jumbo ones at TJ Maxx for cheaper. <sighs> but at last I, it, it left like a white cast. I mean, it worked really well, but I just prefer the dark tones one and I have a huge jumbo one of going of that right now. So I would definitely repurchase the other one. If you have like blonde or like very light brown hair, then I think you'd get away with this one. It'd be fine. But uh, yeah, and the smell was good. It was very tropical, but yeah, nothing that I would repurchase, but it did do the job. Then I have this, which is embarrassingly old. I kind of like don't want to tell you how old this is, but um, this is the Redken Smooth Down Heat Glide. And this was like a heat protectant, like oil. And like, I guess like, I think it was supposed to like help, maybe help with straightening or something like that. I don't know. I've had this since high school and if you've been with me for a while, then you'll know how old that is. But yeah, so it definitely took me like 10 years or more to finish this, which I know is gross for some people, but I don't I don't really care when it comes to my hair, like how old, if it still is working and it still smells fine, I don't really care. Uh, skincare is a different story, but you know, hair, oh well. Uh, so I finally finished that, it's bittersweet but I'm on to the next thing. Okay, this is the Hemp's Original Herbal Conditioner for damaged and color treated hair. Now, I thought this was a deep conditioner, so that's what I used it as, uh, because it says that you can leave in for three to five minutes. 
but apparently this is just a regular conditioner. I mean, I loved it. I thought it did really well. So I'm very interested to try their, you know, deep conditioner. I have already put it on like on my loves list. So I'm really excited because this was good. Um, it did have, yeah, like kind of like a coconutty scent to it. So yeah, and this one was the three ounce version. I also went through the Briogeo, is it Briogeo or Briogeo? I don't know. If you know, please leave me a comment down below so that I know how to say it because I hear it both ways. Anyways, this is their Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. And this is just the one ounce version. I think I got this as for like $3 as like an Ipsy add-on or something. And if you calculate it out, it's worth $4.75. So got a little bit of a discount, but I think I only got one or maybe two uses out of it. I think it was like one use. So, you know, there's that. I liked it. I wouldn't say I'm in love with it. I liked their regular one better. They're like, don't despair repair one. So I would have purchased that one over this one. And then I went through two IGK hair care products, two more. So one I liked, one I did not. Uh, the IGK Low Key Cleansing Walnut Scalp Scrub. Wasn't really a fan of it. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of scalp scrubs. It's just not something that I need, so. And then the other one is the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. I did really like this one. Um, packaging's really cute. I love all their packaging, so. But I would definitely think about repurchasing this one. I liked it because it was more of like an oil gel. So it had a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it didn't leave your hair crunchy, but it definitely was a little heavier. So I don't know if you would like this if you had like super fine hair, but I have like thick curly hair, so I can, it works with, for me just fine. But I don't know, it was good. I wish it had like, you know, something to do with like frizz and everything, but you know, alas, I have yet to find something that works for all those frizz over here. But yeah, I would probably repurchase this. Okay, and so for hair care, surprisingly, I finished $130.84, which is pretty good for hair care. I think that's one of my highest hair care, you know, months. So that's good. So now we're gonna move on to body and miscellaneous. And I actually finished a perfume. Who am I? I think I finished, this might be like my second perfume ever that I finished. Something like that. And this is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. This is the one ounce version. Because I found that if I'm gonna get like a big perfume or like a you know full size perfume, I'm just gonna get the one ounce one because I have like 20 something perfumes. I'm never gonna go through them. So why buy the bigger size, the 3.4 fluid ounces that I'm never gonna go through? Like I still have a uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy that was 3.4 ounces. I probably got four or five years ago and I'm like halfway done with it. And that's one of my signature scents. So anyways, this one I got in March of 2019 and I just now finished it. So, you know, and I mean, perfumes, let's see. Yeah, this one only has a three year, 36, you know, month shelf life. So that's like perfect. So I don't know. Um, this is really good. I love this one. It's like a, I want to say like more of a free sweet with a little bit of muskiness to it. But I would definitely repurchase this one. And plus the bottle is so little. It's so cute. I'm probably going to keep this bottle to be honest. So much for getting rid of stuff in my house. But anyways, yeah. Have a pencil sharpener that I am retiring. This is just like skipping now. So I'm um, just gonna get rid of it. I have absolutely no idea what brand it is. And last but not least, I have two lotions. This one was in originally in my Supernatural project pan. So I'm taking a break from that project because I don't know. I'm just taking a break from it. I might pick it back up later, but I think I got through like six or seven episodes of season three and that's where I stopped. But this was the, one of the last products for that, you know, section, 
of the project because there's 15 seasons and you do a product for every single episode of every single season and there's usually like 20 something 20 22 21 something like that episodes in every season and I think I've been I think I've been doing that project for like a year or two maybe like a year and a half two years so anyways taking a break from that but this is the that's a long tangent this is the Avon Planet Spa South Pacific Sea Kelp Body Drench Lotion. This is embarrassingly old as well. I got this from my mom and I don't know how long she had it for. The scent was decent. Nothing that I would repurchase. It was one of those ones that you either, I feel like you'd either love it or hate it. So anyways, I don't think you, you can get it anymore. This one I did actually really like. It's the Golbon Ultimate Healing Lotion. It's just the, like the little mini one. I just use this as like hand cream. And I have used, I have gone through two or three big versions of Golbon Lotion, whether it was the anti-itch or the eczema ones, uh, the medicated ones. I think I've gone through like three of those. But uh, yeah, I really liked this. I like this in Nivea lotions a lot. So I would eventually down the road probably repurchase one of those but I have you know however long I have like so many lotions it's ridiculous I don't know how Danny goes through all of those lotions that she does but I never moisturize anything but my hands so lotions take me a while to go through all right so my miscellaneous category was $81.65 not bad so that means the total is $458.23. So that was a really good month. I know February is going to be a lot less than that. So hopefully they will kind of even out some. But because uh, I'm trying to get at least like $416 worth of products every month so that I can stay on track for my $5,000 goal. And let's see, I don't think I purchased anything in January. If I did, I'll put it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out all those lovely ladies down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.